up people, Multiplier here. Now I'm giving you a thumbs up because I've got some new and improved lighting, so thumbs up for that. And this video is all about the Sennheiser HD 650s and my first impressions because I got some a few days ago and naturally I have some first impressions. Now this is 100% legit first impressions and that's just what you gotta live with. So. Multiplier, what are your first impressions? Well, when I got them out of the box, my first impression was, I think maybe Sennheiser sent me the wrong ones. Um, they appear to have sent me some sort of special edition. I don't really know, I wasn't aware of it, but it's it appears to be the edition for Giants because the cable is bloody bonkers. Look at that! If I hold it like this, bonk that over there, it's two arm spans. I'm a standard size human and it's two arm spans. Mental, I don't know what's going on with that, but that was my first impression. What sort of mentaloid designed a cable so big it's for giants? It's just not necessary. Um, so yeah, that was my first impression. Kind of confusing, but uh, I got over it eventually, 10, 15 minutes later, that really freaked me out. And then my second impression, all, all legit this of course, genuinely, um, more cable related issues because what I normally do is take the headphones up over my head. I don't know why, I just do, I have done for years. If you take a look at the HD25s, my first set of proper headphones, cable on the side, zoomp over the head, fine. Then these guys, which have been my go-to headphones for a few years now, um, again, zoomp over the head, fine, because the cable's on one side. You go to do that with these, it's a problem there. Strangled to death, not good. So I have to get used to taking them off forward and that's very confusing. Um, that took about an hour to get used to. But I did eventually. Uh, so yeah, cables coming out of both sides. Don't get confused by that. Uh, you can't take it off backwards either. Get more cable issues. So yeah, forwards uh, with these headphones. And uh, yeah, a third impressions is build quality, fine. Can't really say anything more than that. I think they retail originally at maybe like 400 pounds, $400. I got them 40% off on Amazon for like 220 pounds or something. So I thought bargain. And yeah, they sound all right. That is my, that is my honest impression, first impression of these headphones. I've tried a lot of headphones. Haven't used a lot on a day-to-day -day basis. I've used just these an awful lot, the HD25s and the DT770 Pros an awful lot as well, an awful, awful lot for these. Um, yeah, the middle ohm ones. So I know these pretty well, really well. And yeah, these sound all right. They sound slightly better than these guys, which are a little bit cheaper, not a lot better, slightly better. Uh, a little bit underwhelmed, if I'm being completely honest, but I suppose that's kind of the point with a reference headphone. If it sounds amazing, you're probably not getting the truth they're all right. Build quality, average. I'm sure they're fine, who knows. I mean, they're certainly different to these guys. These are my DJ headphones because you can do this. You can bend it, you can just do this to it. And then when it eventually breaks, because it will do, you'll just sit on it or like throw it into the crowd in some sort of amazing display of DJ skill. Uh, you just buy new bits because all the bits are replaceable. I think you can do that with these, maybe, who knows. Cables at least you can replace, so when they eventually die, which they obviously will because it's Sennheiser, I can buy new cables. But uh, yeah, these are my DJ dudes. You can fling them across the room. Fine, probably hopefully fine. And uh, yeah, I'd say these probably have better build quality than these, uh, just in terms of metal. I'm a huge fan of metal, like the iPhone. It just feels nicer. This isn't metal, this is like plastic sort of ting. Uh, I suppose plastic is lighter, but uh, yeah, I don't know, it just doesn't feel amazing. Feels all right. I quite like the back, that feels nice. Um, yeah, not really sure what else to say about them, to be honest. This is this is my genuine first impression. Just kind of, meh, do the job, sounds slightly better, sweet. We'll use them for all my mixing from now on. I'm a big fan of not really getting too bogged down in the details with headphones, like just pick a set of headphones that work and then you just, just learn how they sound. It's as simple as that, I mean, these guys, the birds and dynamic, bird dynamic, bird dynamic, I don't know if I said Bayer dynamic maybe, bird dynamic. I'm gonna go bird dynamic, right, bird dynamic. 
DT770 Pros, these are nothing like flat in terms of the frequency response. There's a massive dip in the, I suppose, mid bass, you might call it, depending on how you want to define things, around 200-300 hertz from memory. And then there's a big boost in the high, so they sound super harsh when you crank them, but you just learn it and that's fine. You can hear lots of details with these. You can hear more details with these. I suppose technically you would say because these are closed back and these are open back, they're just different. If you have a noisy environment, you want closed back so you're not hearing background sounds from, I don't know, streets, birds, pigeons, etc. Um, frogs, if you live near a frog sanctuary, you probably want these. Frogs will be distracting, so you want to isolate yourself from the outside. These are open back, so if you have a quiet environment, these will be better because you don't get any bounce back because uh, you've got the little speaker bits in there and then it bounces off the closed back, so you hear a little bit of light groom sort of thing from the closed backness. But it's just different. So technically these would be cleaner or clearer in a quiet environment because they're open back, noisy. You want something like that. Um, but yeah, they sound all right. That is my genuine impression. They sound okay. And that's it. HD 650s. Um, yeah, they go around the ear as well. Nice and comfy. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, that's a good point, actually. They are genuinely pretty comfortable. I haven't worn them for weeks on end, so I can't give you a, a super specific opinion about comfort, but lots of headphones I don't like the feel of, and these feel cool, at least initially. First impressions, remember? So sweetness on that front. Uh, it's a nice bit of squishy, squishy stuff up there. That's pretty nice. Pretty lightweight, worth mentioning. And that is my impression of this. First impressions are the most important. Actually, they're not in the case of headphones. Uh, oh, I just, noticed, I just noticed something. That's a cool. I like that. I just noticed that there's a bit of a gap there and then it moves. That's pretty cool. Not quite sure what that does, I suppose. I suppose, yeah, so you can get that that kind of movement to it. I don't know. It just fits your head. Um, that's all you need to know. It fits a normal human head. If you don't have a normal human head, you might want to try them on first. But I don't know. Most people do have normal human heads, so... Just leave it at that, I suppose. That is my first impressions of the HD 650s. Genuine first impressions. That's all you need to know. They're fine. Get on with making tracks.